Hey guys, so I'm going to be making a series of videos documenting my progress with CubeSheet Parity, um, also known as CSP, and I'm going to be going over each of the cases and such. Um, this is not meant to be a full-on tutorial, um, although when I have a better understanding of CSP, I may make a full-on tutorial about uh, the method. So for each case, I'll be showing you the reference scheme, how to solve both even and odd parity after tracing, and an example trace with the reference scheme. And then I'll show you how to trace the mirror reference scheme because those can get slightly annoying at times. Uh, keep in mind that I use a uh, black top and yellow bottom and I've changed my reference scheme a bit uh, so your reference scheme may differ slightly from mine so you have to do a little adjustments in order to fit in. Um, the order in which I trace uh, starts with black and uh, the second color would be yellow and I would go in the order of red, green, orange, and blue. Um, finally, big shout out to Tommy Schliga and Ro Hessler for their uh, cube shape parity document, which lists all the cases you need to know for CSP as well as the algorithms and setup cases. So I'll have a link to that document in the description below. So in this video, I'll be going over the star shapes. Um, so this first case over here is um, probably called 8-0 because it has eight edges on one layer. Um, all connected with each other. So um, the reference scheme for this is going to be um, all blacks on the left and then all yellows on the other side and the red, green, orange, blue is going to be like this, very symmetric. Uh, what can get confusing about this case is that uh, you have the black corner starting over here and then the rest of the black corners on the other side. Um, the only reason for this is that so uh, the, oven, the odd alg um, involves turning the star uh, just by 2 and if, th if this was reversed then that would not be the odd alg and that would be a little confusing for some people so yeah um, it would go this corner this corner this corner and this corner back there um, so solving this reference game is pretty Solving this case is really straightforward. Um, the even alg is just the normal, just doing normal uh, edge separation. Um, you need to keep in mind that the eight bunch is in the back, not the front. If you do it in the front, you'll end up doing the odd parity algorithm and you will get parity. Um, the odd algorithm for this is really simple. You simply misalign the star by two and then do the same thing and you should get no parity there All right so I'm going to be tracing this as an example so I usually start with um, whatever should be in a black uh, red so this would go uh, one two back here uh, start here three going back so I have th no three and then these two four and then I would probably start with this corner. So this would go um, five, uh, five, and then this would go back, starting with this uh, six, um, seven, going back, starting with this eight, nine. So I count to nine. So that means I would have to do the Odd algorithm. So I could either do push this to the back and do a star, two star, or I could just bring this to the front because that gives me odd parity anyway. I would probably do it like this, and then uh, solving cube shape from there. Let me just verify that does, that does give me no parity in the end. Uh, and I seem to have messed up two too. What do you know? And I have no parity. There we go. So now I'll be showing you how to do the mirror of this case. Uh, so when you trace mirrors, what you want to do is look at the top and envision the reference screen uh, as the same, but instead the black and the yellow are going to be top. So if you look at it from the top, um, you're going to have, normally you have black here and yellow here, but instead you're going to have yellow here and black here, which makes sense, black, yellow. And then so in that case, you're going to have, instead of 
black here and yellow here, you're just going to have yellow here and black here. So I'll just start tracing, starting from here. Um, this would go 1, uh, 2, back here, and then these two, 3. These are the same. And then, so this is already in its place, so um, starting with this. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 for that case, which means I have to do the uh, odd algorithm. So I would put this in the back first, and then star shift because it's a odd algorithm, and then solve that normally. So just to make sure. And that gives me even parity. So the next case here is the 4-4 four, four case, which we have four um, two bunches of four edges. Um, so in this case, the black is going to be on top, and the yellow is going to be bottom, and then the red, green, orange, blue sequence is going to be going around like this. Um, and then as for the co two top corners, what you're going to notice is that the yellow is going to be between the two uh, red edges in that case. So that's really important when we do the mirrors down here. So in this case, it's the same way. The corners are traced the same exact way here. So to solve this case, um, you would turn this into a shield shield like that, and then shield shield can be solved uh, the standard way. And as always, for star shapes, if you want to do the odd algorithm, you simply shift the star face down by 2, and then do the same exact thing like that. So I'll do an example trace. So I'll start here. This one has to go 1. No way. This is this is important. Yellow has to go on the bottom here. So this is already in its right place. This is also in its right place. So I'll start with this. This has to go one, two, three, four, five. Five for edges. This is already in its right place. So we'll go here. This has to go to six back here. Um here. Uh seven, eight. Uh, 9, right? Yeah, 9. So I'll have odd for in this case. And so if I want to do that, I would do, I would put this in position and then shift the star by 2. And then there we go. So let's just check again. No parity. Alright, so I'm going to be going over the mirror of this 4-4 case. So normally when you look at the top, I'm going to have black here and yellow here. But that's going to be inverted, so I'm going to have black here and yellow here. And then the uh, yellow, uh, green, red corner is going to be over here, sandwiched between the two um, red edges. So starting the tracing, I would go from here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 for edges. And then from here, I would go, um, let's see, one back there, uh, two back there, and then three. So then six plus three is nine, so then I have odd parity. And so since this would be normally be black, so it would go in the back if I want to line it up. And then to do odd parity, I would misalign this by two. And then do cube shape normal from there. And I have even parity. Alright, so next I'll be showing the 6 2 case um, when you have 6 here and then 2 here and normal star shape. So this is similar to uh, the 8 0 case. So you would go uh, the red, green, orange, blue would go in that sequence. And then these two corners will be swapped like that, and then it's the same. It's the same exact thing as these uh, eight zero case. So to solve this case, you would split it up along that axis, and now you have paw paw, and paw paw is really straightforward to do, like that. And then for the odd case, again you would star shift, and then paw paw like that. All right. So let me go over an example.
tracing. So this would go this, starting with this one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, seven for edges. Starting with this, I would go eight, eight um, back here, uh, nine, ten, eleven back here, twelve. So twelve in total so that gives me even so I would normally just do that and then you see from cube shape one there um, and that gives me even parity so now I'll be showing the mirror of the 6-2 case uh, so in this case normally black would be on this and then yellow would be on this but now it's going to be reversed and then now yellow is going to be here and black is going to be here. All right. So starting with this edge, this would go uh, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 for edges. And then this one's going to go 8, uh, 9, 10 back here. And then this will go 11 back there. And then 12 for these two. So I would have even parity, so I would bring these two edges to the front and then separate it and do a pop off from there. Even parity. Uh, so the next case I'll be showing here is the 5-3 case. You have 5 here and 3 there. Um, so the way to create this reference scheme is that you have a three bunch, and then to the left of that three bunch will be another edge. This will form the yellow part of the reference scheme, and this, the other four edges will form the black part of the reference scheme. And the side colors go in the same exact way like that. Um, and the star shape is same as usual. This black corner will be sandwiched in between these two yellow edges, so keep that in mind. Um, to solve this in the even way, uh, first bring this pawn, pawn section down, and then you want to pair that paw section up with two of these edges. And then from there, it's just standard scallop kite from there. Like that. Uh, to solve the odd case, I don't think I need to explain. Just shift the star by one. Yeah. Now, to show an example trace. Um, so, it's going to be separated along this line. So starting from here, this goes one, two, back here, three, four, five, 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 six, no, let's try that again, starting from here, one, two, back here, three, four, five, five, and then back there, so that's five edges. Five for edges, and then for corners, this one would go uh, six, seven, eight goes back there. Um, this one would go nine, ten. So I have ten in total, so that's even parity. So then I would bring this here. Nine. So let's check that out with even parity. Alright, so I'm going to be going in the mirror of this case. Um, so if we look at it from the top, then these four edges are going to make the, up the paw section, and then these will make up the scalp section. And then so we, and since we're inverting the colors, this one is going to be yellow, and this one is going to be black. So if we trace the edges, and by the way, this is going to be the black corner too. Um, starting with this, it's going to go one, two, three three back here and then four here. These are the same so it's four for edges going here um, it goes five six back here right here it goes um, seven eight nine back there so I have nine. Um, that would be odd parity so then if I align it along there I would also have to do a two to account for the um, uh, parity and then we can sort of emulate what we did for the regular case so just split up two of that and then 
you get the scalp kite from there. And that should give me no more parity. Yep, no parity. Alright, and the last case in the uh, star shape case is going to be the 7 1 case. 7 and 1 here. And you have the star down there. Um, so the the yellow and the black sections are going to be divided along this. Um, the black section is going to start with a single singular edge and then proceed clockwise from there. So it's going to be separated along there. Okay, and then you have, as usual, the unusual corners like that. And to solve this, it's very similar to the 5-3 case. You're going to take this pawn and you're going to move it down. And you're going to take two edges from the scallop and you're going to combine it with that. Um, I'm not going to go over how to do the odd case. You just shift that. Yeah. And let's do an example tracing of the regular case. So starting with this, it's going to go 1, 2, back here. Three, four, um, four, yeah, four after edges, and then going here, this is going to go five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven for that, and then to solve that, um, since it's our parity, we're going to move this into place, and then shift the star by two, and then do all that. My recognition is bad right now. Yeah. So let me go over the mirror of this case. Um, so if we look at from the top, then these would be the uh, paw edges. These would be the scalp edges. And since we invert the colors, now the paw is going to be yellow, and it's going to be black. So starting with this um, edge, we're going to go. It's going to go one, two, back there. Um, these are good. Um, and then three, four. So four for edges. And then I'm going to start with this. And then it goes five, uh, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So then um, 10 that gives me even parity. So then um, then these yeah um, then this would be the paw that we have to combine with uh, making the scalp kite. Um, that gets really confusing even if this see if, see if this is even though this is the yellow section, this is going to be the paw we're gonna create the uh, scalp kite with. So then we're going to that yeah that should be normal yeah that gives me even parity. So that was it for the star cases. Um, if there's anything I could do better in this video and you guys could tell me um, just let me know because um, I know it was, it was a bit fast paced and it might be a little hard to grasp what I'm thinking because this is in a fall and CSP tutorial. So, uh, but if you guys find that I could do something better, just let me know in the comments. Yeah, see you guys later.